Hey guys, my name is Jay Hatch, your sales and leasing consultant at Whitby Mazda, and I'm doing a quick video on what this little guy here is all about. Some people get confused. So this is a 2019 Mazda CX-5. Any Mazda, whether it's a CX-5, a Mazda 3, Mazda 6, whatever, you're gonna notice, and on most cars actually, I think every car, is you're gonna see a little circle like that, and a lot of people wonder what that is. If we take a quick walk around to the back, because there's one at the front, and if we take a look here at the back, you can see we've got this guy here, and this guy here as well. So those are where you've got, um, I wanna say tow hooks, but they're not actually tow hooks. If you were to open those up, that's where you're gonna find a spot where you can tie down the vehicle, and those are meant for when the vehicle is being transported from the manufacturer on rails, so is being tied down at transport on a, on a train that's being delivered um, to, the, uh, to the dealerships. So a lot of people will think, and uh, I gotta be honest, I thought the same thing until just recently, which is why I'm doing this video. Um, a lot of people think that if you pop that open, and uh, if you pop it open, you're gonna use like maybe a little screwdriver, put a rag around it so you don't scratch the paint. But if you pop that open, that's where you would put um, a tow hook that screws in, and then you would use that tow hook uh, if a tow truck driver was gonna pull you out of a ditch. And honestly, that's what I thought it was for as well. Now, Mazda used to provide the tow hooks that when you pop that open, you could put it in there. They don't anymore. To buy it separately is about $30 um, per tow hook or so. Um, but they don't anymore. And the reason why they stopped providing them is because people were using it for exactly that reason, to, to pull their friend's car out of a ditch. Um, or if there's a tow truck shows up, the tow truck driver would use that tow hook, put it in and pull the car up. But the, the, the vehicles are not designed for that. That's gonna uh, rip your car apart. And it's not gonna do it any good anyways. So these are actually designed only for the manufacturer to pop this open and then strap the, uh, the vehicle down um, to the train that's transporting it from the manufacturer to the dealership. After that, it shouldn't be used at all. The reason why this came to mind for me was I had a customer just recently, she came back uh, to get the hook and she was using that because she's putting a, um, a roof rack on the top of her Mazda 3 and she's gonna put a kayak to that. So she just wants to be able to strap down the kayak. Obviously she's gonna use the roof rails and the crossbars, but she also wanted a little extra security to do that. And absolutely, we call Mazda Canada and say, that's fine, you can do that. Obviously if you're being responsible and you know what you're doing and everything's done the right way. All right guys, so a quick video on what that is. Um, hope that helps you out. A little bit more information is always a good thing. Any other questions, give me a shout. Jay Hatch at Whitby Mazda. If you want to book a test drive here, get more information on the vehicle, get some pricing, reach out to me. You can call or text me on my cell phone, 905-391-1637. You can email me, jhatch at whitbymazda.com, or you can hit me up on my social media, hashtag jhatchmazda. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you found value. And remember, my name is Jay Hatch, and you deserve a Mazda. Have fun and stay safe.